heard in the next update, they're adding Willy. Next update, they're going to add Willy to Dead by Delight.
hang on, I tapped into fucking VLC, and when I did, it like jumped around in the song, so I'm just gonna restart it. So in the update next year, they're going to be adding Willy to Dead by Light. So I saw a baby taper. Good. Good. Shout out to the San Diego Zoo social media. Go look at the baby taper. Have a wonderful stream. Hey, just in time, I finished eating soup. I did it. Hi, everyone! How are you all doing today? I hope you're all having a good one. I hope your day uh, has been long and hard, and I hope everything's gone wrong, and I hope a dinosaur uh, comes back to life, finds your house, rips the roof off, and, uh, uses your toilet wrong. <laughs> I don't-
don't know why. That's why we're starting today. <laughs> it came to me suddenly in a dream I had to. Same to me. Oh, thank you, male wife. That's so kind of you to say. <laughs> and by the way, I hope raptors come to your house and don't even put the toilet seat back down afterwards. But I hope... It's been a good day. Uh, it's been good to me. It's been real sunny here. Uh, so I had a nice walk and saw a very cute cat. It's a great day to die in space tonight. Sure is. Thank you, Magmaroshi, for the 10-month resub. I appreciate it. Today you misread the word pensive as penis wave? That's cool. Thank you, the Roxy Bee, for the 11-month resub. Hello, Holly. Hope you have a wonderful day. I did, and raptors came to my house and they fucked up my toilet. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hang on a sec. I have to blow my nose because I just ate a soup that made my nose a little drippy. Did I ever see the moon? I did. I saw it last night. It was very pretty. Uh, yesterday was uh, Lesbian's Day and there was also a pink moon out. So that's when my power was at its apex. And uh, today, I am left all the weaker for it. <laughs> but today's been good so far. Uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, some Outer Wilds tonight. Uh, just, you know, as a heads up before we start, uh, A, the same as last time, I'm going to have the alerts muted when we get started with the actual stream. Uh, just so we can, you know, enjoy the atmosphere of the game a little better. Uh, so, you know, if you want to hold off on, like, tips or subs because of that, hey, no worries. I have two hours of dental work done today. Bring on the raptors. <laughs> I no longer fear death. Extremely good thing to say. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it. And Rebel Yell with the $1 tip. Hello, Miss Holly. I hope that you take this singular dollar and use it to protect yourself and your bones from the fiendish scoundrel George Wood. Oh, who him. wishes to steal your soul and put it in a sack. Oh, I hate that fucker. I hope he doesn't... Take me to Donkey Kong Country, too. <laughs> Thank you for the tip, I appreciate it. So yeah, uh, alerts will be muted once we get started. And also, uh, today, uh, stream-wise, won't be quite so long as usual. I mean, it's not going to be, like, short, short, but, like, uh, probably only, like, two or three hours long at most. Uh, so thanks for understanding. Today's going to be a bit of a, bit, bit of a lesser one uh, for a bunch of reasons, but... Uh, you know, we make do with what we got. Uh, but the good news for, for me, I mean, uh, at least, is that there's a big Monster Hunter update tonight. So I'm going to get to play some fucking Monster Hunter tonight, baby. <laughs> so that's nice, at least. <clears throat> uh, I think that's everything I wanted to say before my normal pre-roll stuff, which is, you know, if you want to support the stream and all that, uh, you got options. You can sub to the stream. You can tip directly through Streamlabs and PayPal. Uh, you can give bits. You can give out gift subs to the community. Uh, any and all financial support, very greatly appreciated. Uh, means a whole lot to me. Uh, my main source of income right now, which is why I'm able to put uh, as much time and energy into this and like other creative endeavors. Uh, so your very generous financial support uh, means a whole lot. Uh, it's never mandatory. Don't ever feel obligated to if you have any reason for why you, for why you can't or you wouldn't want to at the moment. Don't worry about it. Uh, as long as you're taking care of yourself. Uh, other ways to support the stream, you can, you know, share it around, whether that's, like, sharing posts on social media or, you know, word of mouth, uh, or, like, sharing clips or stuff like that. All of that is also real help for the stream. And, of course, you know, if you like what we're doing around here and you've got the time, then I reckon stopping on by and tuning in, that counts as support in and of its own way. So thank y'all so much for taking time out of your busy days to spend it here with us. Uh, speaking of us, I'm going to hit the button that mutes the funny alerts. Uh, and then I'm going to undeafen on Discord, and I'm going to say hello to my friend Mike, who's going to be joining us. <clears throat> hello to my friend Mike, who's going to be joining us. Ah, uh, hi. Hi, how you doing? Good, good. How about you? Hell yeah. Uh, I, I just said on stream I was having a good day, but I changed my mind. It's actually been fucking horrible. I've been looking oh, no. for, like, uh, the past two or three days for a video that has been like wiped off the face of the earth and like maybe didn't ever exist and it was like a fucking loop like an hour long 
of the genie from Aladdin from that one song where he's like, you ain't never had a friend, never had a friend, you ain't never had a friend, never had a friend. And the title was something like Blue Robin Williams Torments Me for My Loneliness, and I can't find it anymore. <laughs> so it's just that looping for an hour? Yes. <laughs> that sounds, I feel like I have seen that before. And I'm, I'm fully miserable because I don't know if that's what it was actually titled or if that was just like a title that I made up one night when I was listening to it. <laughs> oh, God. I hope you find it. God, I hope it returns someday. You ready for more wilds? I am so ready for more wilds. Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let me tab over to the view. While you get set up, I have uh, I have a few words for chat before we start. Oh, go uh, ahead. a reminder. No backseating of any form. Mm -hmm. um this last time it was i didn't see any like direct backseating or like any uh direct spoilers in chat which is good keep that up mm -hmm. one thing i did see a lot of i wasn't watching chat too closely last time while we were streaming but i went back and watched the vod mm -hmm. there's a lot of people i don't have a better word for it than knowingly reacting to stuff oh. so holly will like pass by something and a lot of people are like oh here it comes or oh that could have been a lot worse or something like that yeah that still counts as spoilers i i can't tell holly to turn her chat off because that would be sad if you guys didn't <laughs> yeah. get to interact with her but that stuff is bad and you shouldn't do it and i know it's just because you guys get excited and you want to talk about it which is fine and you want to share it with the other people in chat who knows what's talking about mm -hmm. and you want to rub your little hands together it's fine but just just Hold, hold back. If something really cool and really great happens, just keep it to yourself. Yeah. It's, talk, it's, talk to a friend. It's also like a personal pet peeve of mine when people do stuff like that, like in general. So. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, and the problem is I can't mod that because 20 of you are going to do it at once and I can't shoot all of you. So <laughs> I'm just going to say, please don't do that. Mm -hmm. And if someone else does it, like, don't, don't go out of the way and be like, hey, don't do that. Just gen gently remind them. We're going to keep an air of not speaking knowingly about this mm -hmm. game in the chat. Yeah, you, you know, like, after the fact, once, like, things are all out in the air about, like, whatever it is you're reacting to, like, yeah, feel free to be like, oh, man, that was so cool sort of thing. Or, like, oh, that, yes. like, something really scary could have happened, like, if she had done this first instead of this or whatever. But, like, uh, you know, until then, please exercise a little bit of patience like the little sicko man behind the window. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm going to boot up the game now, and hopefully OBS will capture it. This time I remembered to plug in my controller from the start. So That should work. <laughs> hopefully the game doesn't go into controlled nightmare mode and start pausing and flicking around rapidly. Well, it was funny. Uh, it's but not it would be really funny if it did again. It, it would be a little bit funny if it did happen again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm getting that side stream up. You see it? Oh, hang on. I, I, heard, I heard the stream go up. Let me okay. check. It is best experienced with a game pad, which is what we I do see. Today. Outer Wilds, Outer Wilds is here. They put Outer Wilds on my computer. They done fucked up and gave me an Outer Wild. Oh, did someone find the video I was talking about? All right, cool. Oh, sweet! That was fast. I think well done, everyone. The bot might have timed them out, but uh, <laughs> if, if... <laughs> your, your sacrifice <laughs> was not in vain. Thank you. <laughs> I suppose I can always just look through, like, the logs later, or if you're in the the Radio TV Discord, you can post a link to it in the, the live stream channel, and I can look at that later. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's time to resume our expedition. It's time. It's time to load our resumed expedition. That just means we get to enjoy a little bit more of this nice menu music. It's very nice menu music. Mm -hmm. I love this song. I love this game. <laughs> I'm very excited for the day I can make the stars align so that I can listen to all of the Outer Wilds, like, instrumentals all at once. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. <gasps> wakey, wakey! This is my body. I'm clipping into my sleeping bag, but it's good. That's just what happens when you wake up. You just upright? Yeah. I kind of did that today. Uh, I woke up first at like uh, 7 in the morning after like what? Uh, like maybe five hours of sleep. And I was like, Ooh. well, 
I can't go back to bed right away. I might as well do a bit of cleaning. Did that. <laughs> Uh, went to sleep like an hour later, slept for a little bit, bolted out of bed because I realized, wait, shit, it's the Monster Hunter presentation today. Convinced I was <laughs> late for it, realized I was an hour early. <laughs> I love that. Mm -hmm. So that was that was certainly a way to start my day. The nice thing about um, being either post-college or post-school is that, like, you just... You have those days where, like, you bolt up, right? Like, oh, fuck, I have to get up for, like, meaningless dumb shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, fuck, there's a presentation today. It's it's so much nicer to wake up because, oh, shit, I want to watch videos of, like, dragons on my screen instead of yeah. because, like, oh, fuck, I forgot <laughs> yeah, exactly. to make Bart's weed sandwich. Oh, fuck. Ah. Wow. We've discovered all kinds of things. For instance, the old settlement. The Nomai constructed a temporary settlement beneath their crashed escape pod. The Nomai worked together to recall an eye-shaped signal they encountered while aboard the vessel. The signal was somehow older than the universe itself. The Nomai decided to call it the Eye of the Universe. The Nomai abandoned this settlement over growing concerns about its stability, which we got to see firsthand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Also, I do appreciate Melody Burst in chat saying, Dragons have invaded Dave and Busters. <laughs> <laughs> Which I think every time I see a dragon now. The Vessel. The Nomai warped to this solar system in a spaceship called The Vessel. They were attempting to follow a signal from the Eye of the Universe. The Vessel crashed somewhere in Dark Bramble. The Vessel's warp core broke when the ship crashed in Dark Bramble. Maybe we'll go to Dark Bramble today, but I'm also very scared, so I think we won't. <laughs> because there's more to explore in the Hanging City. A Nomai city suspended beneath Brittle Hollow's northern glacier. The city is divided vertically into four districts. I found a switch in the Meltwater district that raises and lowers the Black Hole Forge. The Nomai debated how to obtain the powerful, highly advanced warp core required for the Ash Twin project. There's more to explore here. What could be scary about the Dark Bramble? Well, for one, it's dark, uh, and for second, it's full of brambles. That's two very good reasons already. I touch those things and they hurt me. Ow! That's what I say when I go and touch roses with my bare hands. Uh, don't do that, by the way. It's it's inadvisable. Uh, and I learned that firsthand. <laughs> anglerfish fossil. The Nomai learned how to evade anglerfish. Theoretically, at least. By studying an anglerfish fossil they found on Ember Twin. Looks a bit lit. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> log. <Thanks, Locke. laughs> black Hole Forge. The Black Hole Forge is suspended below the Hanging City. I found a switch in the Meltwater District that raises and lowers the forge. The Black Hole Forge District is the highest district in the Hanging City. A no mine named Poke plans to create a new advanced warp core in the Black Hole Forge. I wonder if it's Poke or if it's like Poke. Like the... I always thought Poke, but I don't think there's a right answer. Mm -hmm. The answer is completely up to you. I just think of a uh, famed Hawaiian meal of fish in a bowl, Poke, mm -hmm. so I just say Poke. That's that's what I was thinking as well. Maybe it was like a sort of like that, uh, like a yummy guy instead of like a, like a, like a touches you on Facebook guy. Yes, yes. I think yes. that's all the new things we had from last time that I didn't check out. I very purposefully made sure that I wouldn't read, uh, like, things right at the end of the stream so that when I started I could be like, oh, let's look at my computer and see what things I've forgotten about in the week that passed. Very <laughs> smart idea. <laughs> We're gonna go hang the city. Let's go hang the city. Here's a planetary chart of the Outer Wilds. We're here on Timber Hearth, orbited by the Addle Rock. And we'll be going to Brittle Hollow. This is not the cockpit. This is. Okay. Lift off. Hello, the sun. We have lift off. Uh, Houston, we have this. And there she is. That's the headlights button again. <laughs> headlights off. I hate the headlights. I want to eliminate the headlights. Let's match her velocity. <laughs> Let me completely check this up. There we go. 
bit is this here? I've been here to this part before. No way to know except for going here. Alright, and we've landed. We didn't even hurt the ship! Yippee! Nicely done. I have to remember how to play this game now. Oh yeah, this is the jetpack button. Okay. Uh, down, down. Oh, piss. Youch. Ouchie, wouchie. Uh, let's try that again. Ooh. This is. I don't think I was here last time. I got some cool writing to check out. Bells, beneath your feet lies the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are preparing to make your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon... Oh yeah, the Quantum Moon. The fucked up moon that no one can find, except for when they do. <laughs> Descend the steps to the entrance below. The knowledge held within will help you on your journey. It might be worth checking out. Oh, more writing. The trees are moving. The trees in this grove wander about freely, the entire plant, roots and all. This is not normal, even for this alien planet. And I never see them move! Is that even possible? If anyone else witnesses this disturbing behavior, I implore you, record your observations here. Either these trees are aberrant, 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 I've never known how to pronounce that, or my brain must be. Plume is right. The trees do move. I confess I didn't notice until I had read his notes. Alarmingly, it isn't only the trees. There is other matter in this area, such as that unusual shard of rock, moving in the same eerie way. Please, record all twisted and fucked up behavior you see. <laughs> that rock is unusual for another reason too, Thatch. It possesses color and texture I've never seen elsewhere on this planet. Hypothesis. This rock shard's presence is significant. We should study it! Could it be what is causing other nearby objects to also move about this area? Oh, I wonder if it's the same as that. And we do have an unidentified signal, so, uh, signal scope. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Maybe a flashlight would help. The tower shard. We've located it. You found it. We've succeeded it. Oh, right, and then it goes away because it's it's like <laughs> this. It's shy. I forgot. Please, please, please. Okay, cool. Nice. Plume, Felix, and I have determined this atypical shard of rock is the reason objects in this grove are behaving in a quantum manner. Of note, a unique signal is coming from the shard. Curiously, our friend the Wandering Moon sounds the same. I've also heard the same signal this shard produces calling out from Giant's Deep, Timber Hearth, and the Hourglass Twins. Suppose there are other shards like this one. Ah, so the Quantum Shards might be from the Wandering Moon, then. Interesting. Or at least they're very similar to it. But I think the implication is they fell off it or something. I guess we'll see. The only other object we've observed displaying this quantum behavior is the Wandering Moon. I imagine the moon's behavior and this grove's are related. In her note from earlier, Felix mentions this strange type of rock isn't found elsewhere on Brittle Hollow. What if it isn't originally from this planet? Hypothesis. This quantum shard is from the Wandering Moon. Perhaps it is even a small piece of the moon itself. Ah, there you go, Plume and I. Uh, have beat the same him, beat him to the punch on that one. <laughs> yeah, sure, goddamn did. He plagiarized my work. I've decided. How do I get in here? He's telling me to launch my scout. Some nice symbols in here. Symbols. You play drums with those. I've always wanted the drums. Is there a way in? It's like immediately obvious up here that I'm just missing. I guess we'll see. Or maybe it's. I wonder if it's like puzzle of wait for the ground to shatter so that you can 
jump in, or if it is... Hang on, never mind, I'm a fool. There's literally just staircase right here. <laughs> I think I've solved the puzzle! You've done it. Yippee! Who knew it was just stairs? All along, these stairs were right beside me. Oh, it's one of those funny walking ones, too. Let's see. The Southern Observatory, south 550 meters. Ooh, there's other bits of the, the Hanging City here. PS1 iToy walked so this camera could run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm immediately, like, avoiding the tower because I found another path and I want to look at it. Hi, Bones. Uh, do not trust of this circle. Do not trust of walking in this circle. I really like the, like, breathing sound in this game. It's a good breathing sound. Yeah. It's... You hear it basically constantly, but it's not that obtrusive, right. which is nice. I, I, I feel like it's not really sort of, like, perceptible unless you are just sort of, like, listening for it, and then it's like, oh, man, I hears the breathing. Mm -hmm. Which is good. Yeah. That's what you that's what you want in a good breathing sound in your mm -hmm. video game. <laughs> that's what you want from your lungs. Uh, that turns that off and this makes it go up ways. Okay. Nothing up, so I want down. Whee. Well <laughs> uh <laughs> So I guess we're committing to staying on this planet for the rest of this loop then. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't need to get a hollow anytime soon. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking figures that happens like as soon as I start going down the elevator too. <laughs> <laughs> Be welcome in this place. Above you stands the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. If you are making your first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon, ascend these stairs and obtain the last of the knowledge you need for your journey. This brittle ain't Sounds getting good. any hollower. see our predicament that we're in. That chunk there was originally up there, and now it is seemed, seems to have fallen. Hmm. Perhaps another way. It's not like I can fly my ship up there anymore. here, then I fall, because that's how gravity works. Could I... Use the power of the lift to catapult myself up. kills me. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I'm learning an awful lot about how to jump and not. The important thing is that you learn something on every loop you do. Yeah. For instance, uh, aside from all the stuff I learned about the Tower of Quantum Knowledge, I learned not to park my ship there. <laughs> on this loop, we learned about gravity and structural integrity. I wonder if this guy's got any new dialogue now that we've gone through like a couple of runs. Might be worth a chat after a delicious breakfast. Delicious morning mallow. Some new dialogue. The sun's gonna go supernova, by the way. Oh, yeah, the observatory is an exhibit about that. Between you and me, I glossed over some of the finer details. Astrophysics is really more Hornfeld's domain. Me, I'm here for the rocket science, 
and the marshmallows. No, I mean like soon. I keep getting killed by ghost matter. Not if you use your scout to detect it, you won't, you dumb idiot. You think I made that just so you could take pretty little pictures of trees? It has multiple uses. You do know you can use it as a light source, right? Stars above, please tell me you knew that. I did know that, yeah. The autopilot flew my ship directly into the sun. Had an exciting dream, did you? It's not exactly impossible for the autopilot to get you too close to the sun, but it's not like he'll try to take you there on purpose. Make sure the sun isn't between you and your destination when you engage autopilot, and you'll be fine. <laughs> Good to know! I just love that, mechanically speaking, the autopilot function in this game isn't extremely advanced. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's good at getting you to a target uh, without crashing. Mm -hmm. But it's just, they, they factored in the fact that it can't st detect stuff between you and your destination just by saying, yeah, it doesn't work quite right. <laughs> it's not It's not perfect. Listen, it's still got some kinks we're ironing out, we're aware. So just be just make sure. Just make sure the sun isn't in the way, it's fine. <laughs> it's that simple. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. This tower, located on Brittle Hollow's equator, held useful knowledge for Nomai embarking on their first pilgrimage to the Quantum Moon. Quantum Shard. A strange rock shard that wanders when no one is watching. The Nomai determined the shard is the reason objects in this grove behave in a quantum manner. The Nomai hypothesized that the shard is actually a piece of the Quantum Moon. The shard emits the same signal as the quantum moon. Uh, Nomai detected a quantum signal coming from somewhere on the Hourglass Twins. Oh, and somewhere on Giant's Deep. We still haven't been to Giant's Deep. I was thinking after I've uh, sort of stumped myself on Brittle Hollow, I'd probably go check that place out. But also, I'm having... Got all the time in the world. Yeah. Not tonight, you only got a few hours. Yeah. <laughs> We've also only got like 22 minutes in this life, but, you know. It's fine. In a, in a relative cosmic sort of way, we got all the time in the world. Yeah. And look, there's the tower again, right there. Let's see if I can jimmy my way back over there. I'm surprised that, like, uh, with all the times that I did sort of, like, dance around this planet, I never found this grove last time. Yeah. It's wonderful. You just kind of, uh, keep finding new things yeah. every time for the first couple hours of the game. Yeah, it rules. I was, like, here I was thinking to myself, like, oh, okay, well, I've probably found, like, everything there is to see on the surface. I'll just, like, make my way back down below again and see if I can find out what the deal is with, with that, like, black hole forge. And then fucking this happened, and it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get you go there. Nice. 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 Nice shard. Nice shard. Uh oh, there goes the ground. That time I didn't get hurt when I fell down. to do that from an Apollo's position. Okay, let's try uppermost and just sort of wiggle my way out onto an alcove. I said wiggle my way out onto an alcove. There we go. Uh, I don't think this is quite the lift that I want or need, especially because this wall is in the way. This damn wall! Yeah. Right, 
Especially because there's a lot of it here, too. I'm almost certainly going about this the wrong way. And yet... <laughs> Knowing that and being cognizant of that probably won't get me to stop, at least not right away. <laughs> Say, there's a lot of things... This isn't specifically relevant to this exact puzzle. Right. There's a lot of things in this game that have a, uh, let's say, intended solution. Mm -hmm. But, um, Multiple other solutions. Just because of, just because of the way that like physics works in this game, mm -hmm. and just like, if you know what you're doing, you can make yourself go pretty fast in, you know, most directions. Mm -hmm. You can completely overrule a lot of puzzles in this game just by uh, being very stubborn, and it's very good. I figured that would be the case. Yeah. <laughs> the crossroads. Interesting. The crossroads. Well, it takes me somewhere. Hello, black hole. God, it's, it's even though I know like this, it's safe to go into this now. It never stops feeling like unnerving, just staring into the black hole. There's also a chunk missing from there as well that I didn't notice before. Is that almost there? Well, I kind of want to go see what's in here now. Left we go. Yippee. Let's bring Scout back. What's the integrity of this bit here? Oh, that's low. Oh, that's low. <laughs> <laughs> Mayhaps we ought to get off this platform. Oh, look, there's the, the big bridge to the Hanging City, and there's the, yeah. the forge. Yeah. I still wonder of the forge. I'm also just realizing now, like, ages and ages ago, instead of just jumping in, I could have totally just chucked the scout into there to see where it goes. Good. And there's the white hole station. And there's the white hole. Thank you, scout. My little buddy's always looking out for me. Oh, and this takes us on over to here. Hi! Yeah. I didn't even realize this was here. Refuel my jetpack. Do I have anything new I can tell you? Uh. uh I'm in a hurry. Can I ask you something? Oh, <laughs> uh, sure, of course. Anything you want. I learned something. Uh. And the escape pod, the old sediment, saw the hanging city. I think I said all of these already to you. I think you did. I cannot say anything about the tower existing. Thank you, Rebeck. I love you. Uh, I'm on a bit of a 22 minute time limit, but it is great to see you, <laughs> bud. Uh, I guess I also just didn't realize this bit was here last time. There's a moment, <laughs> there was a moment last stream mm -hmm. where you saw that opening and very confidently walked through it and fell into the black hole that made me oh, yeah. really, really, really laugh. Oh yeah, I did quietly. do that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. Uh, I totally did that! Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to go that way. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, here's a hole. It's got a glowing color on it. That means it's got to be like a walk-throughable, right? And then... Normal, it was a normal assumption to make, but it was just very funny. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'm very glad you told me that, because in retrospect, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I want to go right past this time. Please, please, please. I'm good. You? The Dunk Master of Riddle Hollow. Is there anything here? Might even not be anything here, but... A bit of a precarious perch on the minute. Yeah, I have to. So it's a good thing I took the other passageway, then. It is a very good thing you took the other pass. That rock just clipped through me. <laughs> that that always scares me. Uh -huh. The rocks the rocks on Brittle Hollow kind of clip through each other a lot. I kept thinking it was gonna like dislodge uh Oh god. <laughs> 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 Fucking bye! <laughs> the bountiful sound got tear. close. Uh I completely forgot what I was saying because I just had a near death experience with a piece of molten rock. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. I keep worrying that, like, the big chunks are gonna, like, collide with each other and then, like, cause, like, a cascade reaction. Thankfully, they don't do that. That's good! To know! <laughs> they will They will occasionally kind of push you a little if you get caught in one yeah, of them. Yeah, I figured, but, like, I was really worried it would be like, oh, this chunk here is coming down and lightly nudge this other one, so now it's going down forever and you're just, you're fucked. That would be really fucked up, but really cool. Mm -hmm. It would make this planet specifically, like, really, really difficult to traverse, I feel. Yes. Uh, so it would probably be cool for, like, a little bit, and then it would be like, okay, why did they do this? Which is probably why they didn't do yeah. this. Most likely. I wonder if it was something they had, like, considered and tested, like, during early development and then kind of realized, like, oh, this sucks ass, or if it, they were just, like, confident yeah. from the start, like, now nah, we don't want to do this. The Forge. The Forge. The Forge. There are two back. We read all of these last time, at least these ones here. Um, I don't remember where that button was that made the, um, the forge go down ways. Looks like we're going to have to ch I'm okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to fall! Looks like we're going to have to fall! I really like this specific bit of music. Uh, it rem like the intro to it, where it's like the like really gentle tinkling of like the the, the synth and the keys reminds me of like mm -hmm. this one specific track from. Oh, that's bad! Don't go there. That's Ghost Matter. <laughs> it reminds me of this one specific track uh, from Fez, uh, which I think is like I don't remember what level it was from. Oh, okay. So the Ghost Matter specifically is over here. Okay. Uh, don't go there. That's another game with a really good soundtrack that sort of like uh, evolves based on like what you're doing in the game. Fez. Uh, yeah. It's a cool game in general. I kind of I've I've had the itch to replay that. It's kind of like uh, Oberdin, where um, like if you've not played it for long enough, then you've probably forgotten like most of the, like... All the important right, stuff, so yeah. Can, like, get around to, like, play through it again. Definitely was not here last time, so... This is all new to me. Oh, this looks like a schoolhouse. Oh, we got a second scroll. Okay, let's start with this one, then it's already in. Explanation of festivals. All the Nomai clans from all over the universe meet in one place to share what they've learned in science and art. It's called the Festival. Don't forget, festivals happen every ten years. The the like the way these ones are scribbled is like more like, coarse and all over the place than this one here. And I wonder if that's because like different author or if it's something else. We can't go because we're stuck here. But Felix says we used to go too. At some festivals, one clan's big discovery can mean all the Nomai get to advance, too. Like Anona's Warp Core, which made it so everyone can warp long distances and explore more. Each clan has a festival envoy to show their most interesting work. Our envoy was Thatch. A single festival could last a long, long time. Interesting. There... Learn about the festival. There are a depressing amount of skeletons here. Yeah. Dang. Let's see what this girl had to say. Formation of this universe. No one knows how this universe was made, but one thing we do know is everything used to be very hot and dense, tightly packed together. Hey, Holly, what's a fun amount of skeletons? Uh, I mean, it depends on the context. Uh, if it's in a schoolhouse, I'm gonna say none, because that implies the children are dead, and that's <laughs> frankly real depressing. Uh, if it's in, like, a wizard's dungeon, uh, the more the funnier. <laughs> 
as this early universe expanded and also cooled down. Once it had cooled down enough, particles were able to group together and form things like galaxies, stars, and planets. Since then, space has continued to expand at a faster and faster rate, which is hard to think about for too long without your brain hurting. This universe will keep getting colder and larger until one day the stars and the life they support will all die. That's scary to think about, even though Konoe tells me it won't happen in our lifetimes, but it'll happen in someone else's someday. I just... had a horrible realization. Uh, these are all written by children, aren't they? They have messier handwriting. They do. And also the things they say are like... Very simplified terms. Oh dear. Oh. This just makes this even sadder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the end of the universe doesn't care whether you're young or old. It comes for us all the same. What else can we look at while we're here? Tell me if there was ghost matter, wouldn't you, Scout Launcher? <laughs> I've also just noticed our ship is kilometers away. Um. <laughs> yeah, it probably fell in the hole. It was bound point. to happen, I figured. It but... happened. <laughs> Still a little disconcerting to realize. Very, very few places on Brittle Hollow are, uh, let's say, completely hey, safe. Hey, it looks like it's on like a completely different landmass. <laughs> Wait. Wait, yeah. Huh. Is that Timber Hearth? Is that? It's like kilometers away. Timberhearth Timber Hearth was a little closer. Huh. Wild, though. You can check your map. You'd be able to How see it there. Th oh, yeah, this. Uh, uh, select. Close lantern. Where is ship? Oh. Oh, okay, it is okay, at the white it's, hole. It's just a coincidence, then. Why was it? Oh, okay, it might have just, like, lined up with Timber Hearth. That was confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? How did it get just there? A fun little coincidence. Fun little swirl. A fun little trick to play on gravity. Right, this one's the Black Hole Forge District. You are at the school district. The schoolhouse. Every time I think about a school in a video game, I just think about Easy Pete in New Vegas talking about the schoolhouse. <laughs> oh, the Jimmy my way through there. I love looking over at the chat and seeing ad permitted term bastard. Bastard. Look at him go. Bastard. I think about I just think of any any time I think of bastard, I think of the clip from that Germa stream where he just made like 20 easy peats <laughs> and shot one of them and they all said bastard yeah! simultaneously it had like this ungodly reverb to it i think about that fucking constantly. that's like one of the few germa bits that i've like actually seen and i think about it like almost on the daily it's so bastard. good bastard i could maybe just jump down onto the forge for me i don't have a choice all right i'm committing to it let's find out uh, should be fine you're alive? Not for okay. much longer! <laughs> well, I found my ship. It's our good friend, the White Hole Station. It's my good friend, the ship! There he is! Oh, how I've missed so you. So good to see oh, you, how ship. Missed... Uh oh. Oh, I thought you were gonna hit that Me and too. die. <laughs> I already did that once. <laughs> uh, let's climb aboard. Now we can go wherever yeah. we want. It's a blessing in disguise. Uh, it's a truly a blessing of a blessing this guy's. in this guy. Okay. Uh, oh no, only three minutes of oxygen remaining. Whatever will I do? <laughs> Spends three minutes trying to get into your ship. <laughs> I would. I probably would. Let's be honest. <laughs> Not even because like I'm bad at this game or anything in particular, but just because I'm like that. Let's see, what are we near that we could check out? Maybe we could make a scramble towards the interloper? 
I thought you were going to say scramble towards the no, dark bramble, no, 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 but no, no. the interloper also works. <laughs> I want to see what... Let's check out the interloper. Let's check out what an interloper is. You know, before the universe explodes on us. The sun's looking a little spicy by now, so... Oh, that's that's giant steep. Okay. Match our velocity. It's fine. I made a mistake. I didn't realize how fast I was going. Uh, hey, you're not dead. I didn't realize how close it was. Oh, is the ship just like... Yeah. Let's see. Well, we got oxygen and fuel. You sure do. Let's check out the interloper. Let's check out the interloper. Her. I'm going to check you out now, okay? <laughs> so I guess I'm not checking out the interloper, am I? <laughs> oh, that's one of the best ones so far. <laughs> I have a question, and you can feel free to not answer this. Uh, sure. Did the sun go supernova without, like, the time limit, or did the interloper just hurtle into the sun? I think you just flew into the sun. Uh, I didn't realize we were that close to the sun. <laughs> I think you were just that close to the sun. I didn't realize we were that close to the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Smug lady says, Som sometimes the bread of a sandwich can be a meteor and the sun. <laughs> Yummy! That means I'm the meat! It's a meteor and holly oh, sandwich. Oh, it's a great day to be meat in space. Meet in Space Kingdom coming soon to Newgrounds. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't anything, but I'm standing by it, I guess. <laughs> we didn't so much learn anything new, uh, entries-wise, but... We did see the interloper. We did get to see some writing from children. Uh, we did get to die in space. And isn't that what matters at the end of the day? We did learn that flying your ship into a comet very fast sometimes doesn't work out the way it you want. Tends to be a bad idea, it turns out. Uh, frankly, I don't really know who would have been able to like, guess that. And it's only because of like mm -hmm. the intrepid experimentation of astrophysicists like us that we figure that out. That's what science is all science about. Science is all about smashing your idiot body directly into a comet and the sun. Uh, anyone who tells you otherwise is a coward or a liar. Maybe both? Imagine. Probably helps if I match mine on my Velo City. Closer to there we go. <laughs> Voyager Witch in chat says, Hey chat, what's your favorite planet in this game? Yours is Giant Deep. <laughs> you heard him, chat. 
It's your favorite planet now. Enjoy. It's your, it's your favorite planet. Giant Steve. Oh, we're bouncing. Oh, we're bouncing. One of these days, we'll check out Giant Steve. I heard it's deep. I heard it's, I heard it's giant. <gasps> you fucker, Comet. I see you over there. I know what you've done <laughs> to me, you bastard. <laughs> There's a freaking reed down there. What do I have to do? I'm rotating down here. Hmm. Interesting. Now, if only I could figure out how to get in there. Uh, stairs. I had a dream, uh the other night that uh, we were fucking around with uh, one of the TTS bots and uh, <clears throat> I think it was Kami who was like hey check it out uh, they added a new voice to it and it's supposed to be the voice of God and uh, it would only accept texts that were about like furniture specifically everything else just like <laughs> would return just like a bunch of garbled noises <laughs> Oh god, what did it sound like? I don't remember, but I <clears throat> I swear it was I I'm like 90% sure it was just like a default deep TTS voice like stairs can be used Interesting. to climb up and down. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that that's was good. The voice of God. Uber Duck should get Honestly, on that. They only shoot themselves in the foot if they don't. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Nothing is wrong here. Nothing is wrong today. <laughs> it's fine. Everything is okay. I guess I have that way out, which you're probably gonna want to take in a sec. Uh, spend another little bit here just in case. I swear to God, if the answer is just like there's a gravity pad back here, nope, there isn't. Okay. That'd that be would be up. like a fucking uh. Kaizo Mario Outer Wilds level thing to do. Yes. It, it would. It doesn't seem like uh parallel to the way this game is designed, but it would be really fucking funny in a ruder 3D platformer, so <laughs> my brain thought to check. And this seems to just be here from the start. Like it's not like this crashes down uh, after some time because of the planet falling apart. It just seems to be here. Um, the only other thing I can really think of is like. And this is probably an absolutely fool's idea, but just like somehow catapulting yourself from one side of the planet over here to perfectly shoot into the gap there and not die, which seems seems foolhardy, so I don't think it's that. But it would... It would be very it would be, cool. It would be cool as fuck, is the thing, which is why I'm thinking about trying it, but... <laughs> <laughs> it also seems extremely like uh, a danger person's doomed idea. So... I probably should not... Uh... No real punishment for dying. Uh, any idea right. is really a good and, idea. Like, I was gonna say, well, the only, like, punishment is lost time, but, like, even then, it doesn't take that long to get back here, so. Like, yeah. it took me, like, what, maybe a minute? More than that, because I decided to stall and eat a marshmallow, which is mandatory as far as I'm concerned, but. You have to have your you morning need a marshmallow. treat! How else are you gonna fly without your treat? It's like, uh, that one guy from Daikatana who's like, I can't fight without my marshmallow superfly or whatever. Is this anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I have I don't know Could why be. I have Daikatana on the brain recently. Okay, so that didn't work. And there seems to be like There's like gaps there, but there's no upper ways around it. And the structural integrity's gone down. The only other thing I can think of right now is like wait for this to get jettisoned into space. 
and then get to it from Black Hole. Which... Maybe I won't have to wait much longer. <laughs> Maybe I'm doing this. Maybe that's what I'm doing. Bubasa Soft, uh, if this game had a backwards long jump, I would immediately try to learn how to do it. Uh. Oh. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> I know about that one speedrun trick you told me about uh, last week, the, the funny double jumping, but like, that's it. I am also running out of oxygen. Shit. Mm. I could... This is maybe a little bit fool's risk, but... I could run back to Reback, refuel, and then zoop on back. Hopefully, uh, by the time I've been able to pull off this maneuver, uh, I guess it doesn't matter too, too much if the tower falls, uh, because then I could just jump into the black hole and, and warp over to it, but I think it'd be fun to be in the tower uh, as it's going down. Howdy, motherfucker, I'm refueling. And hey, thank you so much. Okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> Technically seeing this guy for the first time and they're just like, Hi! Uh, okay, bye! Here we go. Okay. Okay. Fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay. Okay, here we go. What's our good friend Scout able to see from here? That's where I am! That's me! Hi, buddy! Oh. Hello, Hello, it's my good friend Scout down there! Yeah, Can what's you up? hear me? I, for like... Oh, you're roboting a little bit. Oh, am I? Okay, hang on. Hello, hello, hello? Hmm. I appear to be having a- Oh no! Trouble. Fucking figures the one night I'm not having it <laughs> happens to you. God damn. Okay, well let's see if- Let's see if it keeps going. I can- I can like mostly I understand you, so I think it's okay for now. Why? Am I- Oh, my bad. You sound okay right now. I- Well, hmm. okay, you're cutting out a little bit in and out, but... It's- I'll be back. I'm gonna I'm gonna check stuff. No problem. Really For fast. what it's worth, you sound perfect in that one sentence. So. <laughs> okay. Cool. Good. <laughs> I'm waiting so patiently for nine to tick down to none. It's, it it always figures as soon as you're like, man, something's wrong. I gotta go. Gotta go check it out. It just resolves itself. Maybe I will go up though for the fun of it. Okay, I think nice. it's fine. Yeah, you sound perfect now. Hopefully it's fine. Okay. Good. I had a moment where I was like, oh no. Holly Stream's going down, but it seems to be Twitch. And then I realized it was just oh, my no. computer. <laughs> That's okay, we're good now. Oh, people are saying it sounded out of sync on their end too, which is odd because everything is green on my end for once, so... Hmm. Please, please, integrity, fall down. Get lower. What is this? Uh, oh, it's just, I read this already. It's just, here lies yonder tower. Uh, here lies yon tower. Mookie Daisy, it's the tower. Any other holes nearby? Any cool holes to look at? Hunks by La Cucaracha Horn. You know they got holes here? <laughs> <laughs> I can just launch the scout for, for light's purpose. Where's that wretched moon? Shoot some rocks at me! Shoot some goddamn rocks at me! Blow me up! 
Maybe the puzzle here is just patience, which I'm not so great at in games like this, unfortunately. <laughs> well, the rock your ship's nestled on is nice and safe. Is it? <laughs> Scout, that's the boat. My god, it is. <laughs> I parked it at this weird... Your ship Your ship will be just fine. I parked it fine. at this awful angle on the one rock on this whole planet that isn't going to, like, immediately crumble. Speaking of which... <laughs> oh, uh... Mm. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Perhaps we have spoken just a little too soon. Sound is out of sync a little? That's weird. Uh, maybe yeah. refresh if you're having trouble, because I see some people saying it's, it's fine. It's probably just like either a Twitch issue or like a Twitch on your end issue. Oh god, the sun's getting spicy too. Maybe I was wrong about this being the puzzle I'm getting solution. a little. There's that bastard moon and its awful debris. Where are you? Where are you? Come on, chuck your rocks at me. He's too far away. I don't actually think it's, like, the rocks that actually make the thing collapse. I think the the collapse is uh, timed. But I could be wrong. I'm not entirely sure. There he is. Buddy, 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 There's buddy. that hard moon. My awful, horrific, boiling hot sun. Come on. Holly is sometimes responding to things before Mike asks them. Is it somehow delaying Discord audio? Whoa, that, that would be would weird. Be. Huh. And I guess, I guess I can look into that after the fact. I'm gonna reconnect to the okay. call. Hang on a second. I'm not sure if this is gonna fix anything because it seems to be on your end, mm -hmm. but I can't think of like... Some people be. are saying, oh, it's like a full second out of sync, and then some people are like, oh, it's perfect on my end. Huh. That's very bizarre. Huh. Maybe you should restart Maybe? the call? Maybe I can try that. Hang on. I pause in game. Uh, and I'll disconnect okay. from the Discord. Where's the funny button? Here it is. Uh, that's weird that that's happening. Uh... I don't know why. I don't think I've ever had that issue, like, in any other thing with Discord? Uh, I'll reconnect now. Hello, I'm in now. Hello. Hello. Uh, let me get the stream back up for you. I don't know if that's gonna make any sorts of difference at all in what people are reporting. That's strange huh discord might be having issues today but it, like it's it's there's no issue on my end though is the thing like everything sounds fine that's, on my end yeah hang on uh, that's bizarre i guess i can look into it later and see if there's like any possible issues with like a forced delay on like Audio sources or something? Uh. Because it's fine for yeah. us. It's weird that it's not good for you guys, but it's completely like it's, fine like for us. Like, it's evidently us. either, like, an issue with, uh, like, Twitch, or it's an issue with OBS. Hmm. hmm. Mystery. I don't want to, like live debug things uh during the stream though if discord and mic are coming in as separate sources it should be an obs issue i mean discord's coming in as like desktop audio mystery mystery like, i don't think this has happened ever for like any other things i've streamed where i've had someone in a discord call with me Oh, oh, here we go! Here we go! 
Here we go. <laughs> oh. Okay, so warp. now... There's a Moscow. Coming in fast and hot. Got oxygen back, so that's good. Let's turn our flashlight on. Zoop on in over here about. Oh god, controlling myself in space. The wonders of six directional movement. There you go. Uh, oh. Self a boost down ways. Uh, course correct a little. There we go. There we go. We're doing this. We're getting this. There you go. And look, the sun's not going to explode right away when we got here or anything. I totally jinxed myself by saying that, didn't I? But that's okay. Uh, <laughs> what is this that wants me to... Oh, just this chunk of rock. Okay. That's just for, like, flying in zero oh, G. I could have done that from the start, and I didn't realize. I just <laughs> did this all manually. That's cool, I guess. Trying to take pride in the fact that I missed a very obvious prompt. <laughs> No, wrong, wrong. I want, I want, I want down. I want down. Uh, okay. We didn't hurt ourselves. That's good. There's a scroll. Come on, come on. All he wants, scroll. Oh god, we're low on fuel already. Well, we got oxygen at least, and the sun's gonna blow soon anyways. So, I guess it's not too bad. Right. I keep forgetting I can just like. Give it a little bit of go-go juice instead of like keep holding on to it. Also, if you lock on to the thing, even if you're not looking at it, you can use the uh, match velocity button to stop yourself. Okay, let's equip the translator. Welcome, Solanum. Your arrival here means you've completed your preparations on Giant's Deep. I have. And you are ready to depart for the quantum moon. <laughs> I am. <laughs> on your pilgrimage, the quantum moon will carry you, just as it carried me and many in our clan before me, to the moon's sixth and most secret location. You'll be aided in your pilgrimage by the shrine our clan built on the quantum moon. But remember this final rule. To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. Be, be curious on your journey! I thought it said be cautious for a second, and I was like, oh, I love being cautious. Uh, oh, I have to put this down. Okay. How do I... How do I put this down? I feel like you should be able to. Let's see. Is there... Is there a valid down place nearby? Oh, wait, there's another one here. Okay. Never mind. Oh, there we go. Problem solved. That's right. Being cautious and curious are the exact opposite things, I guess. <laughs> Too close to target text. Okay, let me drift away a bit first. There we go. If you're here to make your first pilgrimage to the quantum moon, you are almost prepared to set out on this deeply significant journey. Before you do, pause. And remember your history. Remember it? Memories of my birth resurface. Okay, good. We make this journey not only for ourselves, but also to honor the members of our clan who came before us. Those who, after the crash that brought them to the star system, became stranded on Brittle Hollow and on Ember Twin, with no communication between these two groups of survivors. These Nomai looked upwards from two different planets and saw the same wandering moon visiting their skies. It was this moon, the Quantum Moon, 
that kept their curiosity alive during this long period of hardship. After the two divided groups were able to reunite, it became our clan's united goal to find and visit the Quantum Moon. This took time, and many Nomai who dreamed of seeing the Quantum Moon died before we discovered how to make the journey. When you reach the Quantum Moon, recall these Nomai, and carry their curiosity onwards with you. Interesting. What does these, what's with these big symbols? Ah, more oxygen for me! I'd love to see it! Okay, so these are not like scannable, readable surfaces, they're just... there. <laughs> just symbols. I realize that most of these represent, uh, the planets, if not all of these, or like the moons. Uh, can I hazard a guess and say this one's probably the quantum moon? There it goes. Let's see, is there anything else in here that I can touch? There we go. Let's match ourselves velocity wise. Looking mighty spicy out there. Sounding mighty spicy out there. <laughs> uh, there's slots to put in these things, but I didn't have any and didn't find any around here. Unless there's, like, some hidden... I got a couple last seconds to look. Ah. Maybe not. Well. I did what I set out to do. All in all... You made it to the yeah, Tower of Quantum I Knowledge. I got to read the scrolls. I've got to say, all in all, it's been a pretty good life. Let's go meet her. I'll meet you halfway. Works for me. It's like, no, no, don't worry about killing me just yet. I'll come to you. Oh, your fuel level's critical. It's okay. I don't feel like I need fuel anymore. Ooh. <laughs> Pilot Pink in chat. It looks very yummy when it starts getting small, like a Mario Galaxy <laughs> Star Bit. Luma Lee, Luma Bop. It does. Welcome to my Luma shop. If you feed me one, the solar system, I'll turn into a brand new galaxy. I like how a lot of this round was just spent idling at the tower waiting. <laughs> <laughs> just, ah, what to do, what to do. pretty dream I had. I learned so much in my dream about a moon that's not real or something. Ain't that just the way with moons? Moons do be like this. Every day I wake up and I think to the moon, come on man, couldn't you act a little bit more sensible? Couldn't you be bound a little bit more to the laws of physics? Doesn't ever work. I like the idea of thinking thinking to the moon. Just calling telepathy thinking <laughs> to someone. At the moon, I am projecting ideas for you. Listen to me. <laughs> Alright, what did we see? We learned three the things. Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in their pilgrimage to its sixth location. Remember this final rule. 
To explore the sixth location, the shrine must be on the moon's north pole. The pilgrimage to the quantum moon was a deeply significant journey for the Nomai. After the two groups of Nomai stranded on Ember Twin and Brittle Hollow were reunited, it became their united goal to find and visit the quantum moon. Quantum Shrine. The Nomai built a shrine on the quantum moon to aid in the pilgrimage to its sixth location. Many Nomai went on a pilgrimage during which the Quantum Moon carried them to its sixth and most secret location. To explore the sixth location, the shrine on the Quantum Moon must be on the Moon's North Pole. Eight. The fact that some people are still saying the audio is fine on their end makes me think maybe this is just like a Twitch issue somehow. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like if you maybe restarted the stream, it'd fix it. I feel like it, this sounds kind of like an OBS issue, but it could just be Twitch. I could maybe try giving the stream a quick reboot. Go down here. I don't remember seeing this last time. Ooh. 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 Hello. Hole. New hole? New hole? New hole has been discovered. A new hole has been found in Lego City. Start <laughs> the Brittle Hollow Projection Stone. Oh. You know where that is. That's the tower. I see. I'm falling. I'm falling. I'm falling. This goes up. It's fine. That's where we just were. Right? No, this is different. Oh, it's under. I see. That's under. I'm at the shuttle. I'm ready to make my first pilgrimage to the quantum moon. That's exciting. You're almost ready. But there's still one more rule you need to learn. Come see me at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. The tower is on the opposite side of Brittle Hollow. If you follow the path west to the crossroads, you can reach the tower from there. My gratitude for the directions, Bells. I'll see you soon. I already know about that place. I was in it. I saw a video <laughs> of it. Tower of Quantum Knowledge? I barely know which. Working hard or hardly working, skeleton. 
<laughs> That's... Let's check out here. The Southern Observatory, south 550 meters. Where does this one take me? Could go there now, but... I want to see more of this weird place. Crossroads, that's that one place we were already at. Where are you? Activate the... Gr the gravity cannon. The gravity cannon. Call the shuttle home. This was like something I was able to read before, and now it's not. <clears throat> it was. Uh, why did the reading go away? I don't know. Mystery. Simply go up. Oh, I was thinking this was like a like a walkway that I could take to it, but no, that's literally just a support beam. Probably don't want to walk on that one. Probably not to say. Oh, here's the, here's the walkway. That's a walkway. <laughs> I've located him. Oh, they had their own starships. How cute. I am here. After watching it wander the skies for so long, I am about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south pole. I will make the remainder of my journey on foot. You don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at the south pole, just that this is true. As a child, I considered such unknowns sinister. Now, though, I understand they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. I am ready. Oh, this is like the same controls, and this brings you back home. Ooh <laughs> Okay. Come on, any second now. There we go. Goodbye! There it goes.
I do like that these ships are made out of, like, stone and clay. Yeah, kind mm -hmm. of like ceramic and like weird texture. Metal and glass for detailing. It's neat. It is neat. Bro, where is my spaceship taking me? Where are we? Ah, there are we. Which way are you going? This way! Oh, this is maybe going towards the sun, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> maybe Perhaps a little. we should go home. Very cool. This will maybe be useful to us when we figure out some more about the quantum moon. Yeah! Well, someone made it there. Let's go to the Southern Observatory. Assuming it's still there. Hoping it's still there? Right, that's the one that was all frozen over that we couldn't get into from the surface. I think. Yeah, okay. Yes. Look at these cool, funny pipes going nowhere fast. Oh, wait, hang on a second. I'm going into them. Now I'm safe. But perhaps a bit stranded. Oh, no, I can just jump thereabouts. That's not so bad. Oh god, what? I got bumped. That scared the <laughs> absolute hell out of me. One, one of them pushed you. That was scary, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna want to shut up here. <sighs> there you go. That was almost so scaring me. <laughs> Nicely oh god, done. I made it. Uh, where have I made it? Oh, gravity. Gravity wells, I see. Here we are. It's I gravity love gravity. Also love to be affected by it someday. Then, ah, no! <laughs> oh, I was so close. Well, you're doing good. Oh, hello, White Hole Station, my friend. How oh, I've missed you. It's good to see you my again so soon. My good buddy, the White Hole Station. just now realized there's these bits here that I can probably, like, gravity onto. Yeah. It's not just pretty detailing on the ship, it's, I can... Yeah, for, for, standing. for standing so you can more easily enter the, the boat. I, I, I am now realizing. Uh, I could have been doing that all this time. <laughs> Logmore, honestly, Brittle Hollow makes me so mad. Slipping <laughs> fly ass planet. I'm kind of into it just on that basis alone, quite frankly. Okay. Uh, comfortable hole. Bye. Uh, we rotating? We rot we're rotating the long way. Okay. Well, time to wait. Time to spin. Spin! Jump! Hi! Hi! Jump! Jump! 
Whoa! Hammer! Frighteningly well timed. We've seen just about everything here. That's uh well, that's an upraise boost, so we can't go down unless there's a way to flip the polarity up here. Uh what's this say? Main city below. Is there a way to reverse that from up here? I don't remember. I remember we got here from the Hanging City last time. But I don't... There's a way yeah. to reverse it down, down there. there. Game audio is now out of whack. You know what? Maybe this is a good place to just, like, take a bit of a break. I'm going to restart the game and also the stream and see if that helps. So, uh... Sounds good. Oh, wait. If I, if I take that down, it's going to reset the loop. Uh, so let's... Yes. Finish this loop, and then I'll do it. Hopefully just... Okay. I keep forgetting there's no, like, save in the middle of a loop. Yeah. Check the VOD and the game audio is behind the, the video by a whole second? Uh... Yeah, I unmuted it earlier, and it did seem behind for me, too. So, hopefully resetting the stream will hopefully. fix that. I don't yeah. know why that would be happening. Like, I've not messed with any settings on my end that would change that. It's never been an issue before. That I've been aware of, at least. I wonder if my internet going down had something to do with that, and if it did, that'd be I very feel like interesting. Probably not. I feel like probably not, but... I feel like probably not is the answer, but it's still very interesting to consider. Oh, right, my fuel. Oh, yeah, the thing that I need, the fuel. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Might just be OBS being fucky with game and Discord audio, but it, but I haven't had this problem before, and it was fine last week, wasn't it? It was fine last week, I think. Totally fine last week. Yeah. Well, you know how it is with computers. Just reboot right, everything and try again. I literally like rebooted uh, my whole like router and computer before I started stream today because I was like, man, I'm paranoid about tech issues. Right. Well, your yeah, internet has so that's been, been good nice. so far, which is fine. That, that's a oh, that's a wonderful <laughs> the one blessing. thing that's been going good today. <laughs> Maybe I could go back to the boat and... The sun's getting spicy, so there's probably not much we'd be able your, to do. Your boat does appear yeah, to be on Brittle Hollow. that's a small miracle, I suppose. Probably won't make much of a difference right now, but... We are out of fuel. I suppose we would want to go back to refuel anyhow. Sometimes audio desync is gradual, so it may increase as the stream goes on. But it's still weird to me how it's happening now and wasn't happening last time when I was doing, like, a five, six hour stream. <laughs> and then this stream, which has been, like, not even two yet. Baffling. Truly baffling. The horrible taste of the future is here. It's computers. Oh, right. Oxygen has fuel. I forgot about that. What if it's actually that your internet is being good because when it fucks up and buffers, it resets the sync? No, because I've had days where my internet was playing nice the whole time and there weren't sync issues. And there goes my ship. <laughs> and there goes the boat. All right, we're going to follow it then. <laughs> oh my god, that was...
was great. Oh, Hi, Boat. Boat, my friend, I've missed you. <laughs> so good to see you, it's Boat. my good friend, the Boat. <laughs> All right. Let's see if there's anything nearby that's cool. Interlopers on a crash course with the sun, so... Uh, I'm gonna not go there. What if we checked out Dark Bramble? What if we went to the what awful, horrible, so scary place? in the way of safe places to land here. This is fine. I've decided actually this is fine. Out we go. Ah, we won't be needing that soon. Oh, we really won't be needing that soon, okay. <laughs> we can take a nice little look at Dark Bramble. It's a nice place. Let's see if we can uh, dunk ourselves into uh, the, the core of it here. ship could have fit into the core here. I'm learning. Just reach out and hello. Hi. You beat the sun by like a hair trigger. I think you probably would have died from supernova yeah, like we'll right the after big that. Man one last meal. Yummy dream. I was, I was about to say that exact <laughs> thing if you didn't. All right, I'm gonna reboot uh, the game, reboot the stream, all that stuff. We'll be back real soon, uh, so sit tight. Reboot yeah, that's also awesome the plan. <laughs> so, sit tight. Right. Uh, thank you for your patience while I sort out whatever the fuck is happening. I.
Nobody. Nobody moves. Everyone stand still. You're frozen in ice. You're frozen in time. Uh, we'll be back very soon. I wait. To come back up on Twitch. Are we live again? I think we're live again. Uh, refresh and tell me if we're live again. Uh, oh, we are back. Okay, well, uh, there you go. We are live. Uh, Mike did just step away for a, a bathroom break, so uh, I suppose we can't test that right away. Um, hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello. Uh, Hang on. Uh, I'm gonna we're we're gonna test and see if there's any delay happening right now. Uh, just in this like BRB screen. Uh, I'm gonna say hi, and then you're gonna wait like a second and then say hi. Does that sound good? Sure. Okay. Let's do this test. Hi. One one thousand. Hi. Okay, chat. Did that sound good? Did that sound okay? Did did was was there like was there like a delay? between the talking or was it fine it sounds good okay now here's the ultimate test i'm going to boot up outer wilds again and we're going to see if that somehow causes things to go weird oh try the other way around too that's a good idea uh hi hi i'm assuming that sounded good uh i'm sure it sounded good it sounded good on our end yeah Okay. Although the issue good. never was on our end, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> he was just true. open. All right. All right. Uh, let's get our wilds open. Let's uh, boot up space. Space! Uh, play. Okay. Let me get the Discord side stream up for you. I love to play. Here we go. Uh, game screen. Bring up the Wrong game. Channel. You see it? I do see it. Outer okay. Wilds is best experience of the gamepad. Let's just, there we go. It's back. The up ladies are place. always telling me Outer Wilds is best experience of the gamepad, and I'm sick of it. <laughs> Babe, wake up. New best way to play Outer Wilds just dropped. <laughs> so are things looking okay so far, chat? Even if we're just like in a menu right now? God, no, the next, The next test would be to see if your game's audio is synced on stream. Mm -hmm. uh, Which we won't really be able to tell until you hit a button right. or get uh, in the game. I'm gonna like launch a probe or something and see how that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't know I'm best experienced with a gamepad. <laughs> they don't even know. <laughs> oh, right, wake up. <gasps> oh, what a dream. Ah. <sighs> I had a terrible, awful dream that the world was desynced. <laughs> Let's speedrun a marshmallow. <laughs> oh yeah, the Monster Hunter update's out in a, in a little bit, isn't it? Is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. It's it's coming out like uh, 8 Eastern, which is in like... So uh, 15... 15-ish minutes. minutes, yeah. Okay. And like, I had specifically made sure... Uh, oh right, protest. Uh... You don't have a probe if you don't have your suit. Oh, okay. Uh, let's get our suit. I had specifically made sure to, like, put my Switch on airplane mode before we started, just because, like, uh, if the update automatically starts while I'm streaming, that's going to tank my bitrate. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Smart idea. People are saying it seems synced just, like, based off of all that, but I'm paranoid, so we're going to launch It probably is. Scout. Let's find out. My good friend Scout. Okay, uh, I'm gonna say fire when I fire it. So three, two, one, fire. Thank you, my good friend Scout. It's good now. Uh, I maybe should have just restarted this earlier. <laughs> Fuck. It's all right. <laughs> it happens, I suppose. Now uh, we're good. Apologies for all of that. Gravity cannon. We learned about gravity. A huge, and cannons. Yeah, a huge cylindrical structure that generates a strong upward gravity field. Oh, I thought it said gravity feel, like when you when when you get a feeling when you don't. <laughs> I get have an gravity. incredible gravity feel when I fall down. <laughs> <laughs> that incredible feel when gravity cannon. <laughs> I recall the Nomai shuttle from the Quantum Moon. 
A Nomai named Solanum landed a shuttle on the Quantum Moon. No, my name's Solanum landed her shuttle at the Quantum Moon's South Pole and prepared to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to the Quantum Moon always arrive at the South Pole for reasons unknown to the Nomai. What's that one Disney show, Gravity Feels? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Forearms Demon, for that one. All right. See beyond the horizon, illuminate dark areas, detect hazards, test the environment. I do really like this visual of someone just, like, jettisoning poor Scout directly into a fire, and Scout's just like, <laughs> Yep, that's burning, boss! <laughs> yep, yep, it's bad. <laughs> Great news, boss, it is fire! Mm, I do still want to do a little bit more Brittle Hollow, but I'm thinking pretty soon I'm going to want to go to, uh... To, to, to big man's zone. Oh, the moon's perilously close in orbit to where we're going, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I'm a it's genius. Fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, let's match our orbit. I said, let's match. There we go. Velocity matched. <sighs> this seems to be one of the faster ways to get to uh, uh, the, the hanging city, so I'm just gonna take this away. I'm gonna say that's a successful landing. <laughs> we didn't the die. Ship did and the not ship's explode. Okay. Yeah, look, perfectly oh. parked. Mm -hmm. I am the queen of parallel parking across the galaxy. Should maybe not waste my fuel, <laughs> but fast. Exactly like a glove. Ruby Bloom just described it as perpendicular parking. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh, wait, right. I was also trying to go to the uh, the observatory. Hmm. I think that's a way right there, yeah. Oh, you can go it? back up. Don't want to backseat, but I'm pretty sure that other path is to the observatory. Okay. Uh, I trust you. Uh... Let's do that instead of me just thinking blindly about the forge for now, because I have I have slightly more of like a like an idea for progress for the <laughs> for the observatory. Uh, no wrong answers. True. And that was whereabouts? Oh, this way, right? Ah. Ah. I see it now. I see it. I see it now. It's always been inside my reach. That's a Sonic song, reach? isn't it? It is a Sonic song. I see it! I see it now! I don't know all the words! Oh god, I have to go. Uh, oh, that's right. Something happened here. This one's a little broken, I think. <laughs> Ooh. It's fine. It's okay, it's a portal puzzle! Ow. Fuck. It's all good. Uh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, it's my good friend at the White <laughs> Station. The thing is, since Brittle Hollow is the first planet you chose to explore, like you are getting very well acquainted with the White Hole Station very early on. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was under the impression. Most uh, mm. For whatever goddamn reason, uh, that it would be probably one of the easiest ones to start with. <laughs> this is how we learn. Oh, I'm learning so much about space. Yippee! Nice. Okay. Take a ball. We place a ball and hole. Jumping, jumping up ways. And now we wait. Look at all the cool planets. Mm -hmm. Look at the cool sun. The sun is like a planet, but angrier. Here we go! We're here. Now all I've got to do is waypoint my way back to the ship. It's just a simple walk. It's just a little box. It's just a humble lock.
I could probably also, like, get back on my boat and head on over to the Gravity Squeeze instead. That was the way that I found that was working to get towards, uh, the observers. I think I'll try that. I just have to remember whereabouts on this planet it is. Certainly somewhere. I think it's on the equator. Ah, okay. So I think it's maybe on the polar opposite side of the planet of where your ship is now. That would make sense. I think so. <clears throat> it also probably explains like why I didn't see like this or uh, that last time because like I was mostly staying towards the poles uh, when I was playing mm -hmm. last time. Uh, let's refuel and heal myself so I feel so much better. Uh, buckle up! Very pretty crystal formations here. Yeah. It's cool to appreciate them when you're not, like, uh, about to get blasted off the face of this earth. That's the camp. There we go. There it is. I keep forgetting the name of the Outer Wildsman on this planet and keep telling myself in my brain, oh yeah, it's Solium Mer, but that's a character <laughs> from Pyre, I think. <laughs> it's very much a character from the Supergiant game Pyre, and not, uh... Which one's Solium? Not from this one, where the characters are all named after rocks. I think Solium Mer was a... a, a Supergiant character. So gently fall down here. So gently I love the fall. And this is... Observatory this way. Let's -a go. I'm also trying to remember how you spell Solium Mer so that I can aid the people that are trying to Google Solium Mer to verify. Uh, uh, someone in chat has already got it. It's like, it's, it's two words, I think. Like... Solium, like S O L I A M or I U M, and then R, M U R, or something like that. I remember that was like a guy with like plot significance in the backstory for Pyre. God, I've been thinking about Pyre a lot recently. What a cool game! Pyre is a very cool game. I don't think I ever finished it. It's real good. Uh, Hades is extremely fun to play. Uh, has like an incredible gameplay loop. Uh, I have some like mixed-ish feelings about its writing. Uh, I don't hate it, like, I think it's good, but, like, some bits of it just make me kind of go, eh. But, uh, mm -hmm. I really, really, really like, uh, Pyre's narrative a whole lot. And, like, it also has its problems. I feel like every single Supergiant game has at least one big egregious thing that makes me go, like, man, and just kind of shake yeah. my head, but... Most, th lots of things do, unfortunately. Yeah, lots of things in general do, to be fair. Pyre definitely has my favorite, like, concept for a game. Mm -hmm. Like, Bastion is, you're a guy, and there's a, a, a nice man telling a storybook over you doing your stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Transistor is, uh, you have a cool swordsman. Yeah. Um, and then Hades is, it's Greek. Mm -hmm. But Pyre is like, no, it's a football game. But you're in hell. And you gotta, and you gotta uh, coach your people to get them mm -hmm. out of hell. <laughs> you've you've been sentenced to purgatory uh, for the crime of learning how to fucking read. Uh, here's this visual novel about trying to like stage a revolution uh, so that no one else is condemned for like crimes like that. And you navigate the story by playing NBA Jam for Wizards. Yes. And it like. Which my problems with Pyre aside, that's already cool enough that I'm like, fuck, that's uh -huh. great. They, they could have never made Hades, and I would still really, really love Supergiant for that alone. Mm -hmm. But they did make Hades, and now I love them, because they made Hades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hades is a good one, for sure. Oh, right, I can I launch I Scout and see. I think you skipped a good amount of stuff. That's entirely possible. I did Wait, just kind of, like, right. jump haphazardly because I saw a platform, and I was like, now's my chance. Joker chance! Joker chance. Yeah. You're good. Whee! Uh, then I 
and try and go there. Then my next closest platform is like kind of. Hmm, I just came from there. Uh, I could try to make that jump up there. I maybe could make it. It's gonna be a bit of a running leap. We're good. Whoo! Baby, baby! <laughs> oh, my yeah! Parents. Now let's go in here. I was talking about this earlier, have one friend fawning over Bastion and like you have to play this game, another fawning over Transistor and like you have to play this game, another fawning <laughs> over Pyre and like you have to play this game, now you're fawning over Hades and like you have to play this game, the super giant cycle. Also, I just noticed our boat is totally in the Whitehall station now. It sure is. Uh, hey, that looks good. Now, let's see if I can... Yes! Okay. Slurp! Slurps! That's tornadoes. You've made it! That's just some whole ass tornadoes. Okay. Uh, first impression. This place fucking rules. That's just some whole it's ass got tornadoes. Cool music. It's got a cool door. It's got two little tornadoes for you to look at. Oh, and now we've opened the door! It's got it all! Yippee! You've unlocked the Dark Souls shortcut. <laughs> Does that stay open in the next loop, or? No. Okay. So it's just you gotta know how to get here, and then you can get here and open it up in case you want, like, to bug yes. out. Yes. Okay. In case you want to come back, but. Giant's deep projection stone. Let's get a sneak peek of Giant's deep. Ah. Ma'am, your sky is looking awful green today, I must say. Full of methane and poo gas. Wonderful stuff. Want to read? Oh, right, it's fake. I couldn't go there. <laughs> Holly? Inside, it's fake. Holly, can I ask your opinion on planets? Yeah, sure, ask me. I'm waiting for you to ask me. Giant Horned Lady and Pyre is so good. I like Jodariel a lot. Uh, Jodariel's great. There's a thing about her that I don't want to say without, like, inadvertently spoiling the game, so I won't until or unless I end up, like, streaming it. <laughs> but Jodariel's really good. Sorry, Mom said you can't. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Guess we'll never know. Sorry to hear that. Kasava. Konoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. Konoi, you should have seen it. We'd thought it was impossible for any cannon components to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. What planet would I most want to cook in a meal? Um... Ooh, that's a good question. I've never had to think about this before, so I'm gonna have to think about it. Uh... <laughs> mm... What planets are solid and what planets are just gas? I guess the core uh... of those planets is probably solid. Uh, the core of Jupiter. Core of Jupiter. Uh, and... Neptune. Maybe, maybe, maybe a nice drink of Neptune. Uh, I just want to say the word Plunto, so I'm just going to say the word Plunto. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cassava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts, but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting. Spire constructed a model of Giant's Deep here at Brittle Hollow Southern Observatory, and it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Ponoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface of the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. That's... I guess learning about how to get here where we've already gotten to, but it was probably correspondence between people at, uh, Giant Steep. Well, now we know. Books down. What else have we got here? This is, we got tornadoes. This is the hole we just came from, wasn't it? No. <laughs> I almost fell in. That is actually a hole. New hole, new hole, okay. We'll explore the wonders of new hole. Oh, no, that's not a hole. Oh, it's not? No. What is it? Is it just a dome? 
Just some, just some stuff. Oh, okay. It played an optical illusion on me, and for like a split second, I felt nothing but complete and abject fear. Just like, <laughs> oh god, that's really yeah. deep. I don't want to go anywhere near that. that. <laughs> it does, it does look very deep. Tarandos. Cool Tarandos. Whoop. Got sucked right in. It's looking very safe up here. Oh, there's an upways too. I'll have to check that out. Let's read this. Cassava's construction yard has been using the cyclones on Giant's Deep to lift orbital probe cannon parts into orbit, but one component was pushed down past the current that usually prevents anything from sinking. Spire and I are crafting a model to determine why this happened. These load-bearing tornadoes! <laughs> <laughs> What's my opinion on aliens? I never saw that movie, so I don't have any. An update! It's now clear there are two different types of cyclone. Most cyclones on Giant Steep rotate clockwise. There are These are the cyclones Cassava typically uses to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. My gratitude, Spire. Konoi is showing me your handiwork, and I'm intrigued by the secondary type of cyclone. But was it really necessary to build a model to tell me that? The model will be useful as we continue monitoring Giant Steep. Also, I very much wanted to make a model. <laughs> I like that one. It's like, did you have to recreate a natural phenomena from Giant's Deep on a completely different planet just to showcase this? Yeah, I wanted to. Listen, are you telling me, given the opportunity, that you would not want to create a tornado? Ball. Oh, this is probably like... Interesting. That's not what I thought it was at all. Multiple at once? Let's see. You can. Oh. Oh, that big what one is that? the sun! And it shows the. Ah. Ah. This is the true power of Ball. symbol that they've used for, like, the the eye of the universe, right? I, I think that's the symbol. Yes. Yeah, okay. It seems to be rapidly fluctuating its position, possibly existing at multiple points in space at once, and then disappearing? Unless this is just the model's way of saying we don't fucking know. There's probably... Uh, a scroll somewhere that elaborates more on this. Here's one. Here's one. What have we learned thus far in our search for the Eye of the Universe? Those of us on the vessel originally followed the Eye's signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the Eye itself. Uh, the locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here, we're both unable to detect any trace of the eye signal. Did Doc used to have your donation wizard, or are you misremembering? If by Doc you mean, uh, MDCT? I don't think so? I've seen multiple other streamers that have had wizards you can click on to go to their tip pages, but I I think this one I don't know that if... I have is literally just I got it by searching for wizard on Google. <laughs> I don't know if Doc had this same wizard. Maybe, maybe he did. I, I think I'm he had sure. a wizard at some point. Yeah. And maybe still Loon has a different wizard. Yeah, Loon, Loon's I got the cauldron this. wizard. I've I have just this this one is really good to me. Uh that's a funny way of phrasing it. 
This wizard is really good this to me. This wizard is so good to me. Uh, I like this wizard a lot, specifically because its file name is like wizard underscore postcard and then a bunch of letters. Uh, <laughs> Aw, that's great. <laughs> I kind of love that. Thank you, Eve Excelsior. Wish you were here. I'm casting so many spells in the... <laughs> I'm casting so many spells in the astral form. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you were here to see it. The ultimate types of postcard. Let's see. Babies, because my brain was fully buzzed from wizard. <laughs> Those of us on the vessel originally followed the eye signal to the star system, but we were unable to warp to the eye itself. Uh, the locator we built on the Adel Rock and the new, more sensitive locator we built here were both unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Hypothesis: the eye has stopped emitting its signal. Based on our knowledge of the quantum moon, we believe the eye is in orbit around this star system's sun. This would mean the eye is located within a finite, albeit enormous, range. I wonder how they came to that conclusion based on the quantum moon. This wizard astral projects to my mom. How sweet! <laughs> Thanks, Beaker. <laughs> Suppose the eye doesn't wish to be found. Kasava, how can you suggest that? The eye signal called out to summon us to the star system. I'm aware. I grew up hearing the eye's story. Yet we're no closer to finding it than you were when you first arrived here. I do think that's really interesting while, like, a lot of, a lot of them are, like, focusing on the sort of, like, hard science of it, like, oh, like, this is what we observed in the universe, and, like, all of this, and conjecture we're basing off of that. One of them is just, like, what if the eye doesn't want us to find it? How should our methods change as we continue our search for the eye of the universe? As we couldn't find the eye signal using two different devices built for this exact purpose, we should discontinue this search method. We know what the eye looks like thanks to the quantum moon. Oh? Hmm. So what if we try to find the eye visually instead? Let's send out a probe. We need to build a probe launching mechanism to cover those long distances quickly. A cannon in orbit around a celestial body would circumvent the need to escape gravity's pull. Giant Steep would be a good choice. It's furthest from the sun, so it would provide the best angles for launch. And it's moonless! Except when the quantum moon is visiting. Yes, let's build the cannon in orbit around Giant Steep. No one told me there was a cannon around this planet. Oh god, I gotta go there now. <laughs> Mallow's idea is clever, but we have no idea where the eye is in relation to here. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. I believe I have a solution for that problem. Have you spoken with Raimi and Pi about the technology they're developing? Interesting. <laughs> Bubasa Soft saying, This is a science forum. Stop speculating about the eye. <laughs> Red closed. <laughs> is the eye of the universal libertarian the most debate filled thread locked by cruel moderators after 70 million pages of debate? <laughs> <laughs> User was banned for this eye. <laughs> God. So that solar system. We know that. Can I jump on these ball? No. No. I didn't get hurt. The gnome I have uh, orb technology and very cool mercury projection technology. They sure do. They love to make uh, awesome terracotta boats and houses, and they love to make just like liquid ball emitter. This is where the ball lives. Get you some. Slurp. 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 I. This is a bad idea, but I do kind of want to jump into one of these. Let's find out. Okay, well, it's not immediately lethal, so... It's just a baby one. 
It's just a baby tornado. This tornado sucks and it's for babies. <laughs> this is a new type of tornado that sucks for babies. Check it out. Oh, not having a boat means it's going to be a little harder to refuel. I've just realized. Although I guess <laughs> I could jump into the hole and... Uh, out of the teleporter and go to where that one fucking uh, fuel canister is? Yeah. yeah. Or you could just go to the hole and get your shit. Yeah. Like, I was thinking go That's to the hole, get say. my boat, and then, like, fly the boat back here. It's, like, it's only 14 kilometers. I can cover that relatively quick. It's fair. Yeah. You think every tornado sucks for babies? I mean, <laughs> in a cosmic sort of way, yeah. That's 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 quantitatively true. <laughs> in uh, well, I guess I wanted this anyway, so it's not too too bad. <laughs> in in most observable ways, I do believe like tornadoes do in fact suck for babies. Tornadoes suck for lots of people. Wait. My ship is really far away. Your ship is really far away. How did it... Where is it? Your ship. Wait. Point... Wait, turn your camera around. Huh. Where did it go? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> what happened? Hmm. Also, not getting any closer, so it. Or any farther it's... away? I think, well, I'm pretty sure your your ship is outside of the solar system. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know how it. There. Yeah, like, turn, turn, go back to the map and then, like, turn your camera so that the, the ships are all flat and then start spinning around. Or, sorry, that the. This is about as flat as so I can So you can get see, it. like, further out. Yeah. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's just gone. Huh. Well, well, that's fine. I suppose we're about to front be gone row seats. Too. Front row seats of the big show. Oh, it even happens on the map screen too. It sure does. No, I had the weirdest dream last night. My good friend, the boat. It went on a journey without me. Without a pilot, too. The autopilot just decided... to check out what lies beyond this star. That just sounds like normal pre anxiety. <laughs> I had me one of those. I suppose you're right. Hey, is this thing full of fish bones? It is. I wouldn't... Touch that if I were. Why? Right, it looks yummy. Those are fish bones. Wow, that's good. They just have like a tin. <laughs> I... They have like a tin of fish here. Wow. You're telling me all this time these people could have been giving me food that wasn't marshmallows? Oh man. Hey, they haven't told you about the fish. They're just like, it's fine. Just eat your marshmallow. <laughs> They're all just, like, whispering and laughing behind my back, like, <laughs> they don't even know about the fish. <laughs> <laughs> they raised me to not know what fish were my entire life. As a joke. <laughs> even more fucked up now that you found out that you used to be fish? A little bit. <laughs> uh, 
so I'm, I'm 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 assuming that like once you get like the little picture filled out, it means you've basically figured out everything there is to figure out uh, about that one I thing. I think I think the uh, the picture means that you have been there. Ah, okay. Oh, right. If, yeah, if because it still says there's more to explore here. Yes. Okay. 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 But like, it's kind of hard to tell when something is actually fully fleshed out which is one problem with this game like if you're looking to like do like 100 percent yeah. and look through every like get every entry in the game you do have to like look up and like all right i have this many entries for this one i have this many entries for this one and then you have to like it's it's long yeah, I, I feel like if it ever gets to that point where i'm like oh i don't know like if i've gotten like everything everything i feel like at that point i'm probably just gonna go like well do i have enough to beat the game let's try and do that and if i ever want to play it again i can like do a more guided yeah. sort of playthrough Mm -hmm. Southern Observatory. The new, more sensitive locator that Nomai built in this observatory was unable to detect any trace of the eye's signal. Based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the Nomai believed the eye was in a distant orbit around the sun. The Nomai decided to stop searching for the eye's signal and instead look for it visually by sending out a deep space probe. There were concerns that the probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. Reasonable concern, space is really fucking big. Tornado simulation. Most cyclones on Giant's Deep rotate clockwise. These are the cyclones the Nomai use to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. I keep seeing like a flashing outside. I wonder what that is. Probably not lightning, it's not raining or nothing. Hmm. I wonder if some goon is setting off fireworks and I just don't hear him for some reason. Orbital probe cannon. The Nomai decided to construct a probe cannon in orbit around Giant's Deep. I kind of want to see if I can jimmy my way over into the Black Hole Forge house. I might spend a little bit more time. A little bit longer on Brittle Hollow. Mm -hmm. uh, I reckon I can probably stream for, like, uh, another 30, 40 minutes, so maybe, like, one or two more loops, and then we'll call it. And then I think next week, uh, if all goes to plan and I can play next week, um, we'll check out Giant's Deep. Yeah. Check out a new planet. Would you want to eat fish after eating a ton of marshmallows? Yes! God, yes! I would get super bored eating the same food over and over again. I would be miserable. <laughs> Please, a crumb of something else. It's all I ask. I do also really appreciate that the ship doesn't have fuel. Uh, I think it's cool that the ship is just, yeah, of course you'd have enough fuel to fly around the ship, the, the space. Yeah. It's designed for that. Your jetpack's only able to carry so much because you're a little person, but... Your ship? Yeah, of course, baby. It's got all the fuel you need, baby. Yeah. Oh, I don't really know where I landed. Uh, I took my seat. Okay. Hey, where am I? Oh, wait, this is the... Oh, that's my ship. Uh, this is... The, the, the crashed ship, right, 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 right. Yes. Okay. I know how to navigate from here, more or less. Already read that. Uh, it's good to see my old friend the probe. Or the escape pod, rather. And these shitty staircases. I didn't miss them. I truly did not miss them. <laughs> and yet, <laughs> I take them all the same. Flashlight. Sometimes I forget I have a flashlight I can turn on. I skimmed through like a little bit of the VOD and it was really funny in retrospect seeing people like getting mad at me being like, Turn on your goddamn flashlight! Why don't you have your flashlight on? <laughs> 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 the answer is a mix of I was able to see fine and also I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> You enjoy when I play in the dark? Okay. Just for you, Weaker. Uh, if anyone has any problems with this, it's Weaker's fault. So you have to send her uh, an essay about why 
Uh, you don't like it. Uh, I don't think I've read this yet. Is the hardest part of this tragedy not knowing whom we may have lost? Or will the hardest part come later when we learn? Be well, Aunt Malaray. Mods, I can't see the stream! Why? 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 <laughs> Why is my beautiful head drifting off into deep space? Why? 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 Classic. Classics of Robotnik. Okay. I think you read this one. Maybe. I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. This is the sad one. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> it still makes my heart ache one week later. <laughs> it turns out uh, that the game about how the universe is ending and also uncovering like the relics of like the people that came before you, uh, deeply, deeply sad in a lot of ways. Who could have seen this coming? Who could have guessed? Who knew? We're all trying very hard to understand how it could have come to this. Scientists are working day and night. <laughs> Our top men, women, and other are working on this, looking at it and thinking, why sad? What's going on here? God, now that I think about it, referring to it as men, women, and other is like a really cold and clinical <clears throat> way of doing that. Christ. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, ah! Cool. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. It's, okay, good. it's good. Cool it's good. It's good. It's no longer good. But it was almost hey, good. You didn't die. I was very much expecting that to kill you. So was I. <laughs> small miracles, small blessings. You take them where you can get them. Uh, match my Velo City. Climb aboard! God, now that I know this strip of anti-grav is here, it makes it so much easier. I guess it's not anti-grav, it's, it's grav. It's very much this, grav. This strip of, like, yes grav. Pro-grav. Claims to be pro-grav. <laughs> Falls into black hole anyway! Just in time. I was like, wait, I gotta go in the right way for the fast one, right? And then I looked up and it was like, yes, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that's just like on the complete opposite end of the plant, isn't it? Well, I suppose it's not so bad if I use my fuel to get there quick, like. Uh, and then maybe I can just take uh, my boat on over to somewhere closer that I know how to get to in the Hanging City. It's not so bad if I burn some fuel. This is kind of like bunny hopping to me. It is kind of like bunny hopping. You can go very, very, very fast. Mm -hmm. That's actually like a very fun way to get around Brittle Hollow is like, you don't like automatically fall into the black hole. Like you can just kind of Catapult like- Catapult yourself around or, it, yeah. Catapult yourself around it and just keep gaining momentum. Yeah, it turns out when there's a super dense object, uh, that you can orbit around, you can use the density of that orbit to, like, catapult yourself. It's true. It turns out physics. Who would have There's thought? a lot, although, that said, there's a lot about uh, Brittle Hall's whole situation that doesn't quite sit well with how black holes work. I mean, yeah, obviously. <laughs> it's a very cool black hole. It's a very cool video game hole. It's a very cool, very hole. nice black hole. My awesome game hole. Uh, I kind of want to unsay that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Too bad, can't do it. <laughs> it is kind of on record now, unfortunately. Let's park here. 
I've got at least one friend who's gonna make fun of me for saying game hole. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do I oh, I'm actually good on fuel. I refueled it already. Okay. Stream now titled the awesome game hole? No, Jay, no. Monstrous thing you've just said to me. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely cruel. You saying this game with wooden spaceships and space trees might contain scientific inaccuracies? <laughs> I know, I so know. It's, it's hard to believe. Yeah, we're all trying very hard to figure out why uh, it's not a perfect, exact recreation of our solar system. Come enjoy some Mountain Dew and Doritos. Consomme <laughs> at the gamer hole. <laughs> No. The only restaurant we guarantee you'll never want to leave or come to. Oh, thanks, Ty. It's like a Hotel California situation, but... Oh, God. I actually don't want to finish that statement because it's funnier that I, way. I don't want you to. I don't want you to either. <laughs> Living it up at the Hotel Gamer Hole, yeah. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going towards the... The observatory. Fuck. I was on autopilot. I was like, oh yeah, I've been trying to go here this whole time. Let's just go there again. Uh, hmm. You can always take the cool elevator up to Rebeck. I could. Where was that again? It'd be to your right. Right in front of you to down left. Down and left. Um, there uh, it is. Let's see if I can land the jump. Uh, Whee! We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Dear God, gamers, we're gonna make it. Ooh, what? <laughs> I know I've said this before, but uh, this game, it kind of <laughs> rules. It kind of does rule, actually. It's kind of fucking great. It's great to see you, Rebeck. Uh, I'm gonna be nice to you this time, even though I am running out of time for it, but I felt bad for rushing it last time. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. Right. Okay. Uh, I learned something. Uh, <clears throat> I found Nomar writing about a quantum pilgrimage. A pilgrimage to the quantum moon? The Nomar mentioned the quantum moon in a lot of their writings, so it was clearly special to them. And uh, special enough to make a trip there by themselves. Sounds like a coming-of-age ritual. Like how hatchlings stay hatchlings until their stomachs are strong enough to drink sap wine. Maybe once a Nomar journey to the quantum moon, they were considered an adult? Interesting. And we get the Harthian lore about how, uh, they only consider you an adult when you drink the fucked up bad wine. <laughs> the good stuff. <laughs> Which is an extremely charming Incredible, detail. incredible relationship between these two species. Yeah. <laughs> You're only adult until you make your own voyage to this extra-dimensional celestial object. Versus, you're old enough once you can drink this alcohol without throwing up. <laughs> drink this swill, coward. You are now a man. I guess you're a fish, rather. But, you know what I mean. You're now a fish. You are now the big fish on campus. Okay, I can probably make this jump. Probably? We're good, we're good. Nice. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice. And now the puzzle of how do I get to the gravity squeeze? How do you get there? Yeah. Also, I have to re-remember where the, the, the switchy doodle was to make the, 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 the forge, like, I come on up. I think it's right next to you. That's... Yeah. It was somewhere around here, yeah. It's right behind Oh, is you. it? Not that way, sorry. To your left. This way. Sorry, to... Behind okay. <laughs> now behind you. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out, navigating 3D space, not my forte. Black hole forge controls. There we go. There we go. I'm impressed that you remember that. What's this say? Controls. And this is just up and down. Come on back up, buddy. Come 
on up. I'm also trying to figure out like where the <clears throat> entrance to the forge is. Can't really see it just like based on this view of the outside of it. Um, okay, you can't watch the scout through there. That's what I was. Well, that's an accident, sure. <laughs> scout, you can hang on there for a while. I'll be here if you need me. I knew I could rely on you, Scout. There's that bit over there, which I think I was already at last time. Um, I feel like you were. Yeah, but I wonder if you could maybe jump from there to that? Rebek has probably seen you fall into that black hole many times now. Throughout the course of every <laughs> single loop I've had on uh, Sleepy Hollow here, absolutely. Rebek has seen me eat shit so <laughs> many times. Uh, the good news is they don't remember it. The bad news is they don't remember it. <laughs> Who's down here again? This is school, I think? I think this is school. That sounds right, yeah. <clears throat> that looks like the school, yeah. So I want to go... This is this is school to this me. This is like learning to me. Right? Yeah, school district. Okay, so let's go upper ways again. So we were on this floor just before, so let's go one more up. That's the highest we can go for now. Have I met Gabro yet? No, I have not. Uh, but I do know that Gabro's on uh, Giant Steep. I remember that name for some reason, and I don't remember Rebeck, the one that I've talked to multiple times. <laughs> oh, I'm <laughs> such a bad friend <laughs> to this. Gabro just has a cooler That's name. That's true. That's true. I'm going to turn a light on my room for a sec, so I'm going to pause. Uh. <clears throat> there we go. You ever think about what soup would be like if we evolved in an infinite McDonald's? Not often, but it's a good question. <laughs> um, I think it'd be bad because they don't do soup. Yeah. I, <laughs> the infinite McDonald's but like, question if you, is still so fucking no, funny. The infinite me. McDonald's questions are really <laughs> good. You could fucking talk for hours about it. It's like, but, but then like, I mean, they have liquids, right? right. Like, you can make you can make soup. True, soup is literally just like liquid plus solids. Assuming assuming somehow that we as humans, as bipedal organisms, somehow successfully evolved in <laughs> an infinite <laughs> and we had a concept of how to make food that didn't already right. exist, you could make soup out of constituent ingredients that you'd find in a McDonald's. <laughs> Although that gets back to the question of like, does does the McDonald's food expire? Like, what happens? <laughs> Did, does it just go bad immediately and then everyone's fucked for the rest My of time? My favorite thing about the infinite McDonald's question that I rarely ever see people talk about is, uh, <laughs> where does the fucking food come from? Where are you? It's already there. <laughs> That's my answer. It's already there. Of it. It's always been there. The question is, does, does the food go bad? Because the food could right. go bad after a Obviously. In, in which case, it would probably be bad by the time you yeah. Because it has been there since forever. <laughs> or does it, like... Is it is it, like, Minecraft rules where if you're not in, like, a chunk of the infinite McDonald's, it's not, like, existing and so... Like, it, re it replenishes while you're not looking? That's a good <laughs> idea. I, I'd... I'd be willing. So you have to be like constantly nomadic, and you'd have to find new food by continually moving through the infinite. This, this is yeah. no longer an I infinite like that. McDonald's. This is now the Outer Wilds Quantum Moon McDonald's. <laughs> sort of, yeah. <laughs> be welcomed in this. Introducing the new meal. If you don't look at it, it gets back to the <laughs> <little punishment. laughs> First, 2021. Let's all go to McDonald's and order the Outer Wilds meal. The look on their face will be infinite unless you don't look at it. The look on their face may or may not be incredible. <laughs> Me order burger with a button. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there are tears in my eyes. <laughs> B 
be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system. The signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels, and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this. The source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, is older than this universe itself. The rest, we have yet to learn. Enter, and open your mind to its possibilities. What is the Eye of the Universe? I'm both loving it and not loving it, says Jill Jig. <laughs> I, I may or may not be lucky. <laughs> At all times until observed, I am in all possible states of loving it. <laughs> the eye is older than this universe, so imagine how much it could teach us. Perhaps it is a cosmic library. Suppose the eye is a more advanced being. The eye is the source of the signal that brought us here. I've got a case of the crumbles nearby. How can the eye be older than the universe itself? Suppose it is a relic from a previous universe. <laughs> ba da ba ba ba! I'm ambivalent. Thank you, Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> the early universe was unimaginably hot and dense. If anything existed before, it would have been destroyed. Suppose the universe is older than previously assumed. Hmm. What is the eye's signal? Suppose the eye wishes to communicate. The signal is a call. Were we the intended audience? The signal is the eye's voice. It speaks a language we don't yet know. Or maybe the signal is the eye's attempt at expressing itself. <laughs> Infinite Big McChicken McSloppy Jerky! <laughs> Finally, we found it. Of note, from the signal, we were able to determine the eye's approximate age, or perhaps its lack of age? Much ado about this eye. Anything else near here? Just a, just a big hole. Ship is still on the surface of the planet, that's reassuring. <clears throat> Send me close though. This is up from down there. Ship there? How would I get back to my ship from here? Hmm. Ship is far away. I suppose I would have to, like, in advance park it. I don't know how much time is left in this cycle, and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time for another one after this, so this might be my last one. I might have to start, like, writing down little paper notes to be like, okay, next time you play Outer Wilds, try doing this. Uh, and I feel like this is now the point where I'm realizing, okay, yeah, I was enjoying this game before, I was loving this game before, I was definitely understanding why so many people, like, are as attracted to this game as they are. I'm probably going to feel like that same way when I'm done with it. I am now realizing this game fully has its hooks in me. To the point where I'm like, I have to start writing down notes for things to try in this game. Sophie with the raid! Burpa! 
Thank you so much. I hope you had a wonderful stream today. We're going to be wrapping up soon. I almost jumped into a... Uh, I'm going to do it on purpose anyways. It's normal to do this. It's great. And thank you, Val and Sharkwaves, both for the 12-month resubs. I really appreciate that. Okay. Okay. Let's... You didn't know Outer Wilds was being played? Well, now you do. Now you do. Oh, never mind. The sun's about to go. Okay, well, thank you so much for the raid. You all made it just in time uh, for the end of the universe. Let's watch it together. Let's see. Maybe we'll get warped back in time. Alright, here we go! <sighs> you know... It is a little scary, but... In its own way... It's kind of beautiful. You know, I'm now starting to realize that explosion that we've been seeing at the start of every loop. That's the cannon around that planet, isn't it? It sure looks like it. My god. I haven't even been there yet and the pieces are starting to fall together. <laughs> this game rules! This sure does. Good. One last marshmallow before we sign off for the night. <clears throat> also, it's not a spoiler. I can talk a little bit. You, someone mentioned backwards long jumping mm -hmm. earlier. And I, <laughs> so here's the thing. When you launch your scout, it does push you backwards. Oh. And uh, if you set... Uh, because launch scout and retrieve scout are set to right. the same button if you set them to different buttons and you kind of rapid fire it you can do it pretty quick <laughs> so uh you don't need a spaceship really. <laughs> does the speed run take advantage of that oh uh, yes yeah. Well, it depends. There's there's actually a bunch of different categories. So there's like, mm, I don't okay, want to talk yeah. too much about if... this stuff. But either way, there's there's. But for example, there's like an any mm -hmm. percent run. There's an any percent shipless huh. run where you don't 
use your actual spaceship at any point during mm-hmm. the run. And then a lot of other things that are variations that of that. rules. God. Uh, I don't want to look into any of it because, like, I'm worried I'm just going to, like, dive into spoilers that way. But, like, God, when yeah, I'm yeah, done yeah. this game, I absolutely want to, like, dive into looking at what speedruns of this are like because holy shit. It's very cool. <laughs> And you, you don't have to confirm this or deny this. Uh, this is just me guessing. But, like, it seems like the type of game where, like, if you know what you need to do, you can absolutely just go to, like, the critical points and then go to the end. So I imagine, like, an any percent run is, like, pretty quick, which is exciting. <laughs> Very yeah. exciting. This has been fun. Apologies again, A, for the tech issues. Uh figures the one that my internet's playing nice something else goes wrong <laughs> and b uh, yeah. apologies again for the shorter stream but you know it is what it is sometimes we make the best out of what we got uh and i had a very good time uh i feel like i made like a decent bit of progress even though like we spent pretty much that entire stream just on brittle hollow <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of the smaller planets and my god it feels dense there's so much there Next week, uh, as long as, you know, I'm available and Mike's available, next week, uh, we'll give one more shot to see if we can go into the Black Hole Forge, and then we're gonna check out the big planet. I forget what it's called, the big one, the gas one. The big one. Here's the big one! Except it's not here, it's, it's, here is closing the game. (laughs) (laughs) Let me check real quick to see if there is... Any fan art to show off? Uh... I need a clear room on my Switch for the update. Oh Damn. no! They're putting too many monsters in. The monsters! They're taking up all the room! I need that! They're too big. You gotta make the monsters smaller! I'm begging ya! Uh, let me get a uh, VLC up so I can play some music. I also did close that when I was rebooting everything because, uh... I doubt it was the case, but I... I was also like, well, I've got VLC open. Maybe that was somehow causing the audio desync. <laughs> Unlikely, but you know how it is. Sometimes Who sometimes diagnosing and dealing with tech issues is more like uh, performing rituals to appease some kind of computer's demon. <laughs> 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 Let's check out some fan art on the Discord. We got these runs from Zoabob. Who says love Outer Wilds and baby tapers and cool sci-fi stuff? I love the way you colored in the 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 funny no my elevators. Very cool looking. Also, really like the like the blues here in contrast to the black and whites. It's real good. Also, here's a baby taper. Hell yeah, it's that's a baby that's little tape. guy. I know him. I love him. <laughs> the tree is walking. <laughs> my awesome quantum tree simply sprouts feet and goes for a walk <laughs> thank you so much we got this one from Zo- from, from sorry this one was from Zobob this one is from Paint Bucket space 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 hell yeah thank you so much we got this one uh, from Mix Grim, <laughs> capturing the moment when my ship immediately fell <laughs> into the black hole. <laughs> God, I still can't believe the timing on that. That was perfect. So many, <laughs> it was really, so really many good. things have happened to me in the course of streaming this game that have felt like the timing on them <laughs> was just incredible. <laughs> This is really cool. Also, this if this is what I think it is, yes. <laughs> right before we hit the sun. Let's <laughs> check you out. <laughs> Very good. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. These are wonderful. Mothman, take these two drawings. Just finished up some already started drawings because of low energy, but it's okay. Oh, cute. I really like uh, the way you did the hair on this one. I like the way it looks like it's flowing down this way. Very pretty. Oh, 
one, look! It's, uh, it's, it's the Harthian one from the other week, but you finished it up! Hell yeah! Whoop, hang on. Looks like the bitrate's being a little weird now. Oh, well, yeah. I suppose it's good that I chose to end the stream now. <laughs> if this was gonna happen. Oh, boy. Well, we made it this far without it happening, so that was good. Seems like it's fine now. Thank you so much. These are wonderful. We got another from Mix Grimm. <laughs> just completely <laughs> missing the tree and then just... <laughs> it's fine. I love the way that you just have put like the same jump and pose in like every single one of these. <laughs> Thank you, these rule. <laughs> <laughs> we got a whole bunch here from Ripital. First time doing digital art in over a year? Hell yeah! This is me when I'm doing a spell any day of my life. I hope you like it, I hope you love it. These are all very cute. Oh, and you drew, you drew the cat that came to Scorpy's apartment that one time. <laughs> cute. These are all real cute. Thank you so much. I love these. From Unofficially Jam. Just floating. Just floating through space. Having a wonderful time. Very cute. Thank you, thank you. And from Half Fallen Bitching Simp. Cute Holly and Campfire Cozy Pose. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. I'm so, so glad to be getting just, like, Campfire Marshmallow fan art. Very good. <laughs> this is wonderful. It's a necessary part exactly. of every morning. Before you go out on a big trip, you gotta have a good marshmallow after a nap. It's important. Thank you so much. I love this. Let me double check real quick to see if there is any uh, on Twitter that was not posted here. Just a sec. Nope, looks like that's it. Hell yeah! Good stream, then. Little on the shorter side, as I said, but... Had a lot of fun. Very much looking forward to next week. God, I've got... I've literally got to, like, get out a notepad after I stop being live and, like, write down <laughs> what I want to try next week. Hold me to that, Mike. <laughs> Hell I will. Yeah. Uh, let's see who else is live right now that we can raid. Uh, is... Is Balp live? I thought I saw Balp going live earlier. Is he still up? It looks oh, like he, he is. is. We're going to chuck folks on over Balp's way then. Uh, Balp is doing some Tekken. So we're going to throw the love on over his way. If you're sticking around for the raid, hope you have a wonderful time over on Balp's stream. Uh, be good to him. Uh, be nice. What's a good What's a good raid phrase that we can use? What's a thing that we said on the stream that was funny? Uh, uh, hi, Balp. We can also just say hi, Balp. I think that's our raid phrase is we're going to say hi, Balp. <laughs> this is our raid phrase. We're going to say hi, Balp. <laughs> thank you all so much for the wonderful stream today thank you for all the subs all the tips all the bits it really does mean so much to me thank you uh for everyone you know who followed for all the raids and the the hosts that we had uh thank you for all the beautiful fan art and thank you all so much for tuning in uh i will be live again tomorrow uh around six ish and we're gonna be checking out uh some of the monster hunter update i think uh, that's the current plan at least uh Although, if... Depending on, like, if I blow through it all tonight, I might actually do something else. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Stay tuned for possible schedule update. But I will be live tomorrow with something, that's for sure. If it's not if it's not Monster Hunter, it's probably going to be, like, Dicey Dungeon or something. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope to see you again next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Go say hi to Balp! Bye. Okay, bye!
sorry, amigo. I gotta go to the to the water fountain. I'm 